I am a B.Tech from IIT Roorkee. Post my IIT days, I went to Oracle and started as a software engineer in Hyderabad. I worked there for one year. It was a wonderful experience, but somehow there was one there was one sense of dissatisfaction that crept in, which forced me to quit Oracle and started teaching. The piece of code that I used to write, I used to ended up uh, with this feeling that at one corner of globe, I'm doing something which is not leading to any larger change. But when you teach, you see direct response from students. In fact, when I used to motivate my kids, and those that motivation led to have some kind of inner uh, voice, inner 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 belief in students that they can do something good. This itself, this in itself is a, is an amazing feeling to have in a teacher. I've taught in Bhatinda, I've taught in Patiala, I've taught in Chandigarh, I've taught in Panchkula, I've taught in Mumbai, and I've also taught in Bangalore. And honestly, everywhere I, where I've taught, it has been a wonderful experience. I felt there is some solid problem with penetration of education into interiors of our nation. Honestly, the first thoughts about Vedantu was I I I I I just wrote it off. I thought it will not last even for three months because honestly, there was this fundamental doubt in my mind: how can teaching happen online? When I took one session at Vedantu, it was like again a second rebirth for me. After taking one session. i really thought why teaching cannot happen online there was this exam of 10 standard board exam of my child and it was night 12 o'clock and that student was facing lots and lots of problems in his exam he called me up sir i'm facing lots of doubts can you take one session now of course at 12 o'clock how can you just think of having a session with your child i mean it is it is, it is not possible but having this session this this platform like vedantu it was really possible and honestly i did not only took few doubts i even ended up motivating my child and as a result of it that child ended up doing very good in his exams many of my friends who have been working in multinational companies who have desire to teach have been able to start teaching on vedantu by giving their 1 to 2 hour session for me teaching is all about motivation it's all about energy transfer that i can give to my students i have done mtech in iit uh, mtech from iit bhu in mathematics and computing i teach mathematics to kids starting from grade 6 till iit j level i have taught um, kids who are in cbse board icse board international ib igcse everywhere also um, i have been teaching mathematics since you can say 2007 Okay, uh, but on Vedantu, I started teaching from 2014, as I was a topper in my school. So most of my friends used to come to me for solving their doubts and everything. So I used to feel very happy about it. So from the very start, I had this thing that I have to share my knowledge with everyone. So I started teaching when I was in college, and post that I kind of got addicted to it. You can say, and yeah, when I shifted to Bangalore in 2014. so i knew that i had to teach but the main problem was i was already working somewhere plus bangalore is such a huge city so it was really a big problem for me to travel somewhere so that way vedantu kind of helped me a lot in getting in touch with so many kids i've been able to i mean kind of uh, nurture my own passion as well as i've improvised a lot on my knowledge as well as my teaching skills through this one funny as well as challenging experience that i've had So there was one child. He was in class four, I guess. So this guy is very, very addicted to Pokemon, and I have never seen any cartoon in my childhood days. So for him especially, I had to go through all the Pokemons, different, different type of Pokemons, their stats and everything. And based on that, I had to give questions to him in the class. So and he can, he'll get bored even with one type of Pokemon. So I have to keep three, four in my mind. juggle with them their statistics and give them the questions so that was one very very challenging and funny yeah incidents that has happened you just go to an office you do your stuff you come back but in teaching you have a particular goal with you that you have to try your best make the student understand a particular concept and that is how you move on plus the fact that they come to me and say that okay because of you and because of your help we have scored good marks so that is very very encouraging i don't feel the same when i'm given an award in the office so that is one thing i keep in mind plus i have that thing that in my j days or when i was in 10th and 11th i needed some assistance it wasn't there so probably because of that also i could not perform very well so i want to be of some help to at least the people who are preparing for these exams now